In this moment, I was overwhelmed with nerves. Standing on the start line, facing the uncertainty of running a hundred miles. There was this heavy feeling of walking into the unknown. I may have dreamed about this race for years, but I never expected it to be this hard. This is a brutal hill. I think this is the start of the hilly part now. So, I think there's going to be a lot of elevation now coming up. 2023 was another wild year. Oh, what a good race. A year of bucket list achievements. This is stunning. A mostly successful year, but I had my share of failures. This is stunning. Here we go. Finish. I had two big goals coming into 2023. The first was to run my first 100 mile ultramarathon. But before I did that, I wanted to get faster and break my marathon PB. In 2019, I ran Brighton Marathon in three hours and 32 minutes. Four years had passed, so first I needed to test my marathon fitness in training. It's now two weeks until uh, the big marathon at Goodwood. So this is my last big long run session before the race. So today I'm looking to do about 15 to 20K at my target marathon pace, about 4.30 per kilometre. And we're off, just gonna ease into it for this first kilometre. So this is definitely a pace that's like manageable but not comfortable so uh, yeah it's going to be interesting trying to run a marathon at this pace but supposedly my fitness is there to do it so we'll see i just hit 15k so halfway through the session oh, feeling strong feeling good 4k to go at this pace oh. Final push, oh, and that's it. 5k easy, and then 20k, a marathon pace. Oh, about one hour, 55. Oh, that was good. That gives me a lot of confidence going into this marathon. I've arrived nice and early. This is going to be my first marathon PB attempt in about four years. The game plan today is to do like a three, three hour, ten marathon. And we're off. <laughs> One and a half K in. Just easing into the pace now. Oh, I feel like this is going to be an amazing route for a marathon. Super flat. Nine K in now. Muscles have warmed up, so this is starting to feel a lot more comfortable. Oh, right, 13k in. Just under an hour. Time for a gel. 20k in. Oh, still on pace, but starting to suffer now. Oh, hip is a bit sore. So we'll see how this is going to develop. I'm halfway now. Oh, but I am really struggling. Not sure how this second half is going to go now. Oh, just got to battle through. There are sometimes moments in a marathon where you just know that today is not the day. And it's in these moments where you really question whether you should continue. 25k in. That 5k section was brutal. But it's starting to feel a bit better now. Keep it down, you do really well. Alright, 31k in. Oh. Yeah, this is uh, an absolute struggle. Pace is definitely dropping off now. Oh. 5k to go. Oh, my pace has completely dropped off. Oh. I forgot how hard running a marathon PB attempt is. One more lap to go. Last lap, about 2k to go. Oh, and just moving forwards is a struggle now. So, oh, I'm going to be so happy to get this done. Here we go, finished. 
Oh, just over three hours twenty. Oh, that was twenty uh, k of good pacing, and then twenty k of pain. So, yeah, maybe not so good pacing. Oh, yeah, that was uh, that was the most painful thing I've done in a long time. Oh, definitely overestimated my fitness in terms of my marathon pace. Looking forward to getting back to ultras much easier and uh, far less painful than trying to race a marathon hard. There's a massive difference between racing a marathon and simply running a marathon. After Goodwood, it was time to rebuild my ultra endurance. So I jumped in the car and drove down to Southampton for a hilly road marathon. Best on, that's what we need to warm up. A decent hill on this bridge. Just completed the first 5k in 26 minutes. So yeah, taking it easy today. Back over the hilly bridge again. 10k in 51 minutes. Just coming into the uh, Southampton Arena. Oh, this is pretty cool. Not bad. That's very cool for a marathon to go through here. This is a really long hill around the 16k mark. Uh, this is definitely not a fast marathon. Thank you. Not finishing yet. Thank you. Alright, time for loop number two. First loop in one hour 50. Two hours in, still feeling good. 24k in. Last time over the hilly bridge, oh, 30k in. God, I did not feel like this 30k into Goodwood Marathon two months ago. Oh, feeling good. Oh. 39k in, I can see the park now. So most of the hills are done pretty much downhill now through the park and into the city there we go finish line in sight there we go oh, 3.36 that was good fun after an amazing holiday in LA, it was time to take on my first ultramarathon of the year, the Big Way Round 50k. Here we go. In the first 10k, we've got a big hill. So, slowly working and making our way out to the top of that at the moment. Finished the first 5k in 26 minutes. It's kind of what I'm aiming for, about five hours today for the 50k. Oh. Right, I'm in an hour in. First 10k went in 54 minutes, so definitely running faster than planned, but we'll see how it goes for the next 10k. Right out into the countryside now. Just about to hit 20k, an hour and 45. Oh, that's the second aid station done. Just grab some water. Nice bit of sun. This is lovely. Oh, this is stunning. Just coming up to the third aid station, going through a lot of water now. Pretty much going to need to fill up, I think, for every aid station going forwards because it is a lot warmer now. Oh, just under 35k. Oh, three hours, four minutes. This place is nuts. So beautiful. My energy levels are a bit low now. 39k in. Um, but yeah, feel like maybe I should have eaten a bit more. Maybe I should have paced it a bit easier as well. Um, and legs are definitely feeling a bit sore now. It's been nice getting some uh, long distance at pace into the legs. Probably do them some good. Not bad for the first ultra of the year. 
Nice to have a bit of company again. Just running on my own for about 5k. Oh, they're just coming into the last aid station. Just cruising down into Winchester now. Oh, all the hills done. Oh, two and a half k to go. And the heavens have opened and it is pissing it out. <laughs> oh, I was getting a bit warm anyway, so cooling down, but yeah, nearly finished. Oh. Here we go, finish line in sight. Oh. That was great. Oh, good shower of rain at the end. Cramped literally in the last 200 meters. Oh. 51k in four hours 36 so yeah way faster than planned oh really great route one hour till we start i've got here super early and super over organized uh but at least i'm ready to go running 100 miles is a daunting distance starting a run knowing you won't stop until you see the next sunrise and knowing there will be extreme extreme lows but it is also a beautiful privilege knowing that i get the opportunity to experience the joy of running for 24 hours across the beautiful english countryside eight k in been running for just under an hour had a really nice chatty sociable first first hour I'm going a little bit too fast. Uh, target pace today was 8.15 per kilometre, which would put me in about 22 hours. Thanks, Billy. I don't know about you, I have that feeling. For you, for me, it's a half hour drive. That is stunning. It's not a bad view, is it? But I am absolutely loving this. This is so great. Oh, beautiful weather. Beautiful views. Oh. Stunning view from up here. Look at the views that we've got today. Oh, try not to go too fast on the downhills. Do not want to be wrecking my legs. 20k into a hundred miler. You know. Another stunning view. This is where you destroy your legs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, didn't need any water at that one, so just gonna cruise on. Next day station is about an hour away, so just gonna keep moving. It's a decent hill coming out of this aid station. Four and a half hours of running, and I still haven't run the first marathon. There's a lot of work to do. Just slapped on an extra layer of sun cream. First marathon done in five hours, 18 minutes. Oh, moving well. Just came across an aid station that I wasn't expecting, um, but three bottles of water, Coke, and I've got a bunch of ice underneath this hat, which is amazing. Oh, so cooling me down a lot. Oh, that was a nice little surprise. Just saw my family, wasn't expecting that. It was nice. Got to see the little cockapoos. But wow, look at this, what a view. Not a bad place to run. They say the best stories involve conflict and change. Characters overcoming challenges and developing themselves through the process. And the best stories are real stories with real people. Running a hundred miles may be artificial hardship, self-inflicted suffering. Oh, thank you. But the challenge is real. Uh, the physical pain, the mental struggle, they are very real. We've hit 50K in six hours 20. 
and uh, it is warm. Just saw a guy throwing up, so yeah, bit of a warning sign that. Need to manage the heat, make sure I'm drinking and getting enough salt in. Just been through another big aid station. 57k in, seven hours 20. So far my body's holding up pretty well. Um, hips are a little sore, right foot's been a bit twingy, but pretty much everything's sort of still working as it should. It's like half two in the afternoon. And the sun exposure is just so brutal at the moment. It's so warm. Oh, a lot of people struggling. Quite a few people throwing up. Oh. I'm loving this. <laughs> oh, I'm having a really good time. Yeah. Really struggling with the heat because there's no shade at all. So, yeah, going for a bit of a a low moment at the moment, struggling to uh, to stay cool. This is the first time I'm actually running my own. I can't see another runner from the race, so it feels really spread out. Um, but yeah, basically spent the whole race so far just chatting to people, pretty much running with one guy called Pete. Oh, yeah, it's been really nice. 10 hours in, that's a big milestone. 76k so coming up on halfway soon this is a brutal hill I think this is the start of the hilly part now so I think there's going to be a lot of elevation now coming up oh this hill is unbelievably steep and it's unbelievably hot oh I'm really struggling here Oh, that hill was brutal. Oh, I really need to get my heart rate back down and cool down a bit after that. Oh, a nice breeze up here though. But yeah, big milestone halfway. God, this is such a big race. Mental that it's only halfway. I had never experienced prolonged heat during a race. And that feeling of just knowing there was no escaping it. I've always felt that my strength in ultras is my stubbornness and I knew that it would take something truly devastating to stop me from moving forward. Right, been through the aid station, had a proper reset, got some crisps and got some more solid food, so we'll see how that goes. Oh. Oh, coming out of the aid station and just getting smashed by this giant hill. Oh. Got nice and recovered. Oh, straight back into it. Oh, the heat is starting to drop off now, but my stomach is now having issues, so that's going to be the next problem to figure out. Yeah, I'm very much just trying to manage my stomach at the moment. Throwing up a little bit. Oh, I've been going for 94k now. 12 hours and 45. Oh, this is the longest I've ever been on my feet. And uh, definitely feeling it. Uh, it's a beautiful evening now. And I think there's like seven or eight big hills that I just need to tick off now. Uh, I'm still moving, but it is hard work. Uh, this is easily the hardest thing I've ever done, without a doubt. What a view. Stunning. Oh, I'm really struggling with this hill. And it just keeps going. Oh, just hit 100k in just under 14 hours. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, 60k to go, which is a long, long way. But with the temperature dropping, and hopefully I'll be able to get some calories down soon.
just come through the aid station at about 107k been running for 14 hours 52 but yeah sun's pretty much down now just got a big hill coming out of this aid station now so just wanted to grab my stuff and just keep moving oh it's a lovely evening and the temperature's much nicer now stomach seems touch wood to have uh, to settle down oh, 55k so got a third of the way to go oh, yeah i can run 50k that's easy oh. Oh, yeah. I think my original goal of doing this in about 22 hours is not going to happen, but might finish sub 24, don't know, we'll just see how the bit goes over the next few hours in the dark. I've heard about runners talk about being completely wrecked during races, only to experience a complete revival. What I went through in the night of my first 100 miler was the highlight of my running journey so far. Can't believe I've been running for over 15 hours and my body is still working fine. Like, yeah, the legs are sore and there's like twinges of cramp. I always knew there was gonna be challenges that I needed to overcome. But, you know, the next one's probably the dark, just kind of getting my head right for running in the dark. Maybe I'll find somebody else to run with for a good section but it is still stunning. I really don't know what to expect now for the next, uh, I don't know, maybe eight or nine hours left. I don't know. Okay. Nice. Oh, right, head torch time. I'm feeling great at the moment. I'm uh, 16 hours in, 114K, and uh, moving better than I have in hours, which is great. I was quite worried about this running at night, but it's actually lovely. It's so nice. Uh, and I'm moving so well. I haven't moved this well in a long time. Really like pushing the pace, running some of the even like slight uphills. I am absolutely loving this nighttime running. Um, cooler temperatures. My legs feel pretty great. And uh, I'm starting to bring down my average time. I've just been slowly catching up with other people. Can't believe this right now. This is like a million times more enjoyable than the heat of the day. 121K down, marathon to go. Oh, big milestone. This nighttime filming doesn't do uh, this hill justice. Once I get to the top of this, I've got two more hills, so. Yeah, moving well. Just under 19 hours, which is just, yeah, mental that I've been running for that long. I've just reached the top of the final hill. Oh, I've got about five or six K now, downhill to the finish line to the track. Oh, very nearly there. Oh. I look back on this experience with a deep feeling of nostalgia. No more hills. For the good and the bad. For the feeling of completing something that I thought was an impossible dream. These are memories which I will cherish for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, hands down the hardest thing I've ever done. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Oh, 400 meters. Oh, let's get this done. Oh, oh, oh. here we go. My first 100 miler. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice one. There we go. Come on, cheers, mate. Oh, that was easily the hardest thing I have ever done by quite a long way. Oh, just had a lovely shower and some food, but yeah, finished in uh, 22 hours and two minutes, which at one point just felt like it was never going to happen, but. Yeah, oh, what a good race. Oh, I'll never forget that one. Oh, all right, cheers for watching, bye.